On the bench today, the brand new E-Flight 1.5 meter P51D Mustang. Now, I love this plane uh, since I first saw a picture of it. Uh, I figured it's only a matter of time before I have it inside my hangar and now I finally have it. So we're gonna do an unboxing video, but most of you are probably saying, I know you already did an unboxing video. It was posted a while back. Well, that's correct. However, I also know that most of you are saying, I don't have 20 minutes to listen to you take an airplane out of the box. So we're gonna do a shortened version of the unboxing video for those of you who don't wanna sit through 20 full minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box and then we'll talk about a few of the, uh, the pieces. But overall, uh, to start with, it's 1.5 meter long wingspan. It, it features, this is the binding fly model, so it includes the new Spectrum uh, smart receiver in it. Uh, it's a version of the, uh, the 637, I think it's the TA model, so it has telemetry. It's got a 100 amp um, smart um, ESC built into it. Uh, it's foam, all foam construction. It does include uh, safe select, and it's painted as the restored version of Lou IV from the 361st uh, fighter group out of Badenschem, England. So. Without going any further than that, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box, shall we? There we go. That's a very quick uh, version of the unboxing video. There's not very many pieces to this thing. You have a main section of the wing where it features two detachable outer wing panels. And I love how those outer detachable wing panels work. There's a spar and all connectors that, um, that plug in. So it's a wireless, uh, basically, connection. Um, I mean, there's wired, but I mean, you don't have to plug anything in. It's all built into this area here. These are little quick release uh, clips here. Here's a spar. This comes off separately, so the main wing stays attached to the fuselage, which is fantastic for transporting. You just simply roll it in and out of the back of your car. Uh, something relatively new are uh, these extra gear doors that are uh, more durable than the, uh, the factory ones. So if you have an older model of this, make sure you, uh, you check on the upgraded version. Of course, so we already talked about the main section of the wing. We have the, um, the horizontal uh, stabulator here. We have two drop tanks. These are drop tanks. These are not bombs. People call these things the wrong thing all the time. These are drop tanks. They put gas in these things. Uh, we have a um, spinner. It's a two-piece uh, spinner. And we have uh, the four individual uh, prop blades that will get attached. Uh, we have a bag of hardware, which includes the, uh, the aerial antenna mask, some screws, and some uh, locking nuts for the, um, for the prop. And we, of course, have the fuselage. And of course, being the bind and fly model, uh, everything is pre-installed. Pull the cockpit off here. The cockpit is very well detailed, very well appointed. Lots of opportunity here for someone like me to uh, detail the inside of this thing. And of course, looking inside, we have um, everything is in there already, including the, uh, the battery tray. Uh, and the receiver is installed. Everything is wired in as well as uh, we have the ESC plug, which is, uh, uses the new IC5 um, uh, connector, because this is all smart enabled with a smart receiver, smart ESC, and works fantastic with a, a smart battery. Flies on a uh, 6S, um, I think it's a 5,000 milliamp uh, per hour is what uh, they recommend. There's a little bit of a range there on what you can use. Otherwise, uh, retracts are installed in the wings, and of course, the rear retract is on the, uh, the tail here. Includes flaps, of course. Includes safe select, which is fantastic. Uh, if you're kind of just getting started in this, or you just want to have the ability to turn on safe when you want it. It also includes AS3X, which is not, a, uh, uh, not training wheels by any means. It's simply like shock absorbers for your airplane. And that's really about it. Uh, overall, the airplane, the foam finish is absolutely fantastic on it. You don't get a chance to see that um, until you actually get one of these in person, but I can tell you that the, the quality of the foam on this airplane is fantastic. It should fly like an upscale version of the, uh, the 1.2 meter P51 Mustang, but I would say that the, um, the quality of the finish on this is actually even nicer than, uh, than my 1.2 meter uh, P51 that I already have in the garage. 
So, um, really not much uh, else. Oh, it uh, does have navigation lights in the wings that are already pre-installed. So we covered that. There's not much really else to this airplane. Uh, Horizon did a pretty awesome job at making this um, kind of go together in little small sub-assemblies. So with that said, I think it's time to go grab some tools and put this absolutely gorgeous P-51 Mustang together and get it ready to, uh, to fly. Of course, um, some, we, there's been some discussion already over the, uh, the color scheme on this one. Uh, the blue is the restored version of Lou IV. The actual one that flew in combat was not this blue. Um, I'll have a video coming out about that a little bit later after it's assembled, and we'll kind of talk about the blue versus green uh, argument. But otherwise, um, that pretty much covers everything on getting the 1.5 meter P-51 Mustang out of the box and onto the table. And I gotta say, it's a, it's a much bigger airplane than I uh, originally thought, especially when you try to set it up inside the house here. So if you guys got any questions, please, by all means, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'll be more than happy to help out. I've been studying this airplane uh, pretty much on and off again for the last year as I worked on my 1.2 meter P-51, now working on the 1.5 meter. So I am more than happy to help out as much as anyone needs it uh, when it comes to P-51s and the E-Flight models. So. I'm going to go grab some tools and I'll be back to put this thing together.